So get yourself ready. God is ready for you. Get yourself ready. God is ready for you. Get yourself ready. God is at work. Get yourself ready. God is ready to do something. And whether the devil like it or not, God will do what he said he will do. God will open the door and something will happen. Whether the devil like it or not, I see a spiritual turnaround and I see the hand of the Lord at work in your life. And God will shut down every kingdom that ever rises against you in the name of Jesus. It is well with your spirit. It is well with your soul. It is well with your body. It is well with everything within you. And the light of God will shine even in darkness. And no darkness can comprehend the light. For the light will shine in darkness. And no darkness can comprehend the light of God. Because the light must shine. The light of God must shine. No matter what the devil do, the light of God must shine. Amen. So now that you are here, I need you to, as quick as possible, be ready now because God is prepared for you. I don't know the expectations of your heart. I don't know the prayers you are praying. I don't know what you are asking the Lord to do for you. But I know God will visit you. God will change something. God will do a miracle. God will send his light. God will send the fire. God will send the power. And the frontline defense that I've told you about is going to begin to happen in your life. The frontline defense is going to begin to spiritually begin to enter and fight for you. And wherever the enemy thought is impossible for you to get something, God has made a way. I hear a man here watching me. The man, the Lord said, I should tell you that he has already gone ahead of you. He has gone ahead of you. This is a person that is about to do marriage this December. You have a fiancé that you are together with and you are planning marriage. This is what's called planning to get married. But you are praying to God for financial open door. You are praying to God for open door. You are praying for God to connect you. You are praying God should do something. You want to travel to go and do marriage. Oh my God. If you are the person, begin to receive your miracle right now. Wherever you are, wherever you are connected with the major prophet of God, that marriage in December will surely take place. No power will stop that marriage. No power will stop you financially. Every spirit of financial limitation, I pray for you right now as you hear my voice, financial limitation is over. The Lord has moved into action to open the door. The Lord has gone into the realm of the spirit to open the door and to make the miracle of that your marriage in December to come to pass. Your marriage in December is coming to pass. Your marriage in December is coming to pass. There's another person you're watching me here. You are praying that God should open the door. And as you're praying for open door, the Lord said, tell him that I will open the door. God said he will open the door. It's not me speaking, but God who has sent me is speaking right now. The Lord said he will open the door. The Lord said he will open the door. And the Lord opening the door, meaning that miracle will surely happen. Wherever you have had your limitation, you have your setback, you have had your limitation, you have had your setback, God is pushing into action to now open the door and limitation will be no more. Setback will be no more. Hindrance will be no more. Delay will be no more. There's somebody watching me, your name is Kinsley. This Kinsley in the realm of the spirit, I don't know where you are battling with. There's a battle you are going through. You are going through a battle and this battle is a battle of an arrow. Your name is Kinsley. The Lord said there's a battle of an arrow that they shot against you. I don't know why they shot this arrow against you. They shot this arrow through your dream and the physically this matter begin to happen. Whether you are here, you are not here, but I'm hearing your name and the Lord is showing you to me. Kinsley, be free from that arrow. Be free from that attack. Be free from that spiritual problem. I am speaking as a major prophet of God. Let the spirit of possibility enter into your matter to settle this matter. I don't know whether you bear another name on Facebook or but the name the Lord showed me and uh, told me about is Kingsley, Kingsley, Kingsley. You are free. You are delivered. There's a man watching me now. Somebody called you from your family member, called you and told you that there's a dream of death. They told you there's a dream of death. And when they told you this dream, since that time you have been panicking, you don't know what to do. You have been so worried. I stretch my hand towards you and I command every spirit of bad dream against you. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Every bad dream be cancelled. Every bad dream be cancelled. Whatever evil dream that they had against you, 
I change it to long life. I change it to blessing. I change it to favor. I change it to miracles. I change it to open door. I change it to turn around. I change it to favor. I change it to peace. I change it to success. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's a man you're watching me now. This is a twins. I'm seeing a twins. You are twins. Or maybe your son or you had a children that are twins. I'm seeing two people born at the same time whether you are the one or your child that you're watching this very platform with me with the child together that's i'm seeing twins around you right now you twin i'm seen in the realm of the spirit and in the realm of the physical the lord said i must pray for you the essence of that prayer is negative dream constant evil dream constant negative dream you are so worried oh my god oh my god i pray for you the lord take over the matter the lord step into your battle the lord said to your matter spiritually and physically the lord take over the bad dream and cancel them cancel every bad dream cancel every bad dream in jesus name there's a man watching me right now in the realm of the spirit i am seeing you you add a, a name but this your name is a type of name that is called with day just like somebody answer native day for example one war okay okay uh what they say and that name you have changed it I want you to know that I'm speaking to you directly. You have already changed the name. The reason why you changed that name is because you changed the name because people are using it to mock you. <coughs> and then you change the name and remove that very whatever they're calling you. This is like one word. This is like, a, like, like somebody born on a market day in the eastern region. And now that name you have changed you change that name. After you change that name, you took a different name altogether. Now the name you have taken together now, you are bearing. I am seeing in the realm of the spirit, they are using against it. They are using that name. They are still using your name to manipulate. They are still using your name to manipulate. And when I say manipulate, you are not getting your favor. You are not, you are not succeeding the way you ought to succeed. You are not moving forward the way you ought to move forward. Things are not going with you the way it ought to go with you. And the Lord said, in this freedom time, I should speak into your life. That whatever name they gave to you that is still manipulating you, it has come to an end. It has come to an end. It has come to an end in the name of Jesus. It has come to an end. It has come to an end in the name of Jesus. It has come to an end in the name of Jesus. It has come to an end in the name of Jesus. Every manipulation, whatever they use to invocate you, to manipulate you, the Lord cancel them in Jesus' name. There's a young man here, you're watching me, you have a problem. Your problem is that you mistakenly threw online. You went to a native doctor and the native doctor asked you to buy ram. It's like somebody paid money to buy a goat to use for some, uh, you know, what is called, this is what's called uh, for some medicine, for some medicine. They did a charm for you. They did this charm. They did it on your behalf. You didn't travel. This, you sent money to a native doctor and the native doctor said, they showed you what a bond with your money made a video call you see the shrine he use it and show you this is what's called they did a brought animal they bought something and they showed it to you and they say send your picture you send your picture on whatsapp and they collected everything and what they ask you to send good money everything you send it and they did some fetish things for you none of the reason why you did that you did that maybe you are complaining about how things are going with you and you didn't travel down to Nigeria, but you went, you were abroad and sent money to the native daughter. After they did what they said they did, and after all said and done, since that time you are having a serious problem. Things are no longer working, and you try to reach them again, and it has become an issue. To an extent they ask you, they were so angry with you, and they told you that if you go back, it's a problem. That they have everything about you they are threatening you they are using what you did with them to threaten you this is issue of you you have a serious problem with the native doctor 
The Lord said, I should help you. The Lord said, I should help you. Every ties that you have with them, the Lord said, I should cut it in the name of Jesus. I 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 cut the ties in the name of Jesus. I cut the ties. 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 I cut the ties in the name of Jesus. That link between you and the native doctor the lord has cut it off 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 in the name of jesus